continuation of the electric go-kart almost near completion a couple finishing touches I got the battery packs um, FYI the cheapest I found believe it or not was at Costco for $61 a piece and it was a $9 core charge these are Kirkland's you know not the best batteries but I didn't want to invest a lot of money um, 700 marine cranking amps which really isn't relevant in this situation 500 and something cold cranking amps again not really relevant uh, and 85 amp hours which is relevant so these have uh, enough current at a uh, sustained rate to run the cart for what I would need could go I could have gone with a smaller size battery but again these were the cheapest so they worked out the best uh, just finished welding up these brackets that hold the battery box to the frame still not entirely done uh, made made up the connections still missing the uh, last connection I ran out of solder so I'm gonna have to get that tomorrow that's gonna go to the positive so these are wired in series and then that yellow wire goes all the way back connects the two sides together and then the negative side go into the motor and the motor controller go here this number eight is uh, the, the charge that comes from the charger so that's gonna get connected there and then the other side of the charger gets wired into the line side of the contactor which follows back so it's a 400 amp contactor, there's a 400 amp inline bus fuse um, everything's almost wired I haven't permanently done these yet, these are still sitting and uh, some of the other control wires for the regenerative braking forward and reverse that needs to get wired in but as soon as I get the battery pack set up and everything I'll come back and get that once that's all set, then it needs to get tied into the computer. I got the software on the computer. Plug that in, USB, USB to a, a serial port. Uh, and then you can set all the acceleration curves, braking, regenerative, max amps, min, max voltage, min voltage, etc. And then test it and break it all down for paint. Oh, one last thing. These end pieces need to come off. They're going to get cut off. I had them on there just to help me move around and everything and in case I wanted to mount something I left it. But they're eventually going to get trimmed off so that the cart's not as long. Uh, I did some weight calculations. Each battery pack weighs 141 pounds, so that's 141 pounds per side there and there. Um, I got uh, 117 pounds on the right of uh, the rear axle, 80 pounds in the front. So that's a total cart weight of 479 pounds plus the rider. So we figure uh, 150 to 200 pounds for a rider, 479, 579, 679 for a 200 pound rider. Just under 700 pounds. A little bit heavier than I wanted. But um, again, went with a 72 volt system and those big batteries, which really is what kicked up the weight. Um, have a 87 pound forklift motor in there, which is a lot of weight. I'm really starting to get concerned about my bearings and the axle and everything and the, st and the stress on these wheels. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Steering's a little tough right now. Of course, there's so much weight, it's very hard. You have a very small amount of mechanical advantage there. Um, Hopefully when it's moving, it, it, it'll be a whole lot easier. Those wide tires don't ha uh, help. So we'll see. There's some learning curves I went through. Still not completely done. The seat is still not mounted. That's going to get foam in there. So but that's it. Started the project planning it last November. So it's taken a little less than a year. And obviously I have not worked on it. Um, constantly just because of life uh, but that's it I'll come back with more documentation when it's over